Hi, I'm Arif Delvi from the Application Technology Group within Global Sales Engineering. Today, I would be presenting the Fusion Release 10 Customer Data Hub demo flows. These are going to be a set of videos where we would showcase Customer Data Hub. The topics that we are going to discuss are the new features and setups, the file import process, batch data cleansing, batch duplicate identification, batch duplicate resolution, dash flows, real-time data management, and hierarchy management. So now let's look at the Fusion application. So once you say launch demo, you find this main.html page. And the primary difference here is you're going to see this primary login page, which has just one link here which points towards all the application logins as we have the unified home page in release 10. You also see direct application logins link over here where you can actually log into HCM or Sales Cloud or ERP Cloud. But let's use the primary login page for our demo purposes. So I click on application login and I'm going to use Mandy Stewart, who is our data steward manager. The weekly password, and I say login. So this is going to be the main home page when you log in. On the extreme left hand side, you see the navigator and you see the home button you have a separate home button here you need not click on the icon itself and then you have the user which you have logged in as if you click on the user you can go to manage sandboxes customizations or setup and maintenance the other thing here is you have different cards the home page cards and they're grouped right now into sales partner management and we have one card even for customer data management so let's look at sales and here you have accounts so let's look at accounts over here so these are the three seeded accounts that you would get within the application and from here you can actually go into contacts directly you don't have to go back to the home page you can go directly to the contacts and if you have to go back to a different card you say home and then for example you can go into customer data management and you'd see different options where you can drill down there is one more option here which says my dashboard and if you click my dashboard this basically takes you to the classic home page so let's go back to our Fuse homepage and start from there. Now we want to import a file which is in this particular format, which is a very simple file with account and address. What I'm trying to do here is use this file as our basis, import the records using file import and do cleansing, matching, and data enrichment using the same file. Also what you see here is I have a few records which actually don't have the zip codes and some have the zip codes. I have done this intentionally because once we use the batch data cleansing, it would automatically put in the zip codes for these records. So there are two ways to get into file import process. The first way is clicking on Mandy Stewart and going into setup and maintenance. And searching for the file import task. So let's say manage file import. So the task comes up and you can drill down into either the file import task itself or you can 
drill down into the mappings. So the other way is you can click on the star and I have a shortcut here for manage import activities. Before I actually do the import, I would want to show you a couple of things. One is the seeded mappings that I have and how you can use these mappings and build your own file. So let's look at the account object. So here I have a series of mappings and the file which I showed you uses this particular mapping which is called GSE account address create. So I can actually drill down into this mapping. What I can actually do too is download the template which will download the template along with the sample value in this format and from here onwards you can actually start building your file. One key thing to note over here is I have the sales type which is ZCA customer so if you don't have the sales type specified it creates the records as prospects. So if you want a customer record to be created you'd always need the ZCA customer to be present. So let's close all this and then let's go back to our mappings and say cancel and let's go into our file import process and import this file. So I click on the star and I say manage import activities. So here I'll create a new import activity, say create. So let me say account and address. And then the object is the account object. And I'm going to use the desktop option and import the file. So I have a file. I'm going to actually have this file in the video and in demo store. So you can uh, use this file and uh, practice on top of it. The other thing is once it comes up and it's loaded I say okay this has a header row and I'm going to use the mapping which is my GSE account address create. A few other options that you can actually use here is if you want to run the deduplication process or the duplicate identification process you can actually say do not import duplicate records or import duplicate records or import duplicate records and create a resolution request or uh, basically no deduplication option. So by default it's no deduplication and I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to say next. So it maps the records uh, to the file using the mapping and I just say next, next and then I say activate. So this process would take a few minutes uh, to complete. Uh, you just have to wait patiently by the time it completes. Looks like the file import process is completed. Actually I was pressing the refresh button a couple of times um, to see what's happened in the process. So it goes through four distinctive phases. So once you create the process and schedule it, it would be in the schedule status. Here you see a few new statuses. This is because it's uh, not activated. The last step what we did was activate. So this they actually just did a save and close. So it just creates new. But if you activate it, the first uh, stage would be the schedule status. The next stage is loading interface tables. After that, it would be the base table upload and the final stage is the completed stage. So we can drill down on the completed status to see what's happened with the record uh, with the load. So here it says it's loaded 15 records successfully with zero errors and zero warnings. And it actually has a log file which details out what it's done. So this is a real quick snapshot as actually what's, what has happened with the process and the middle 
applet shows you the details as to what has happened with each stage and how it's executed it and the bottom most portion shows the log file and if you have any errors you can actually look at the process log over here too or there would be multiple files uh, created uh, in this attachment section so this gives a very brief summary if you would want to see a detailed status of the import process itself we'd have to go to the data import task so let's cancel out here there are two ways of going there one is i can go to the home page click on data management and then go to the dashboard or the other way is going from the navigator and I can get to the same task over here. So I prefer the home page. It's easier sometimes. So I say I go to data customer data management dashboard. Here again, uh, it has four sections, which is the data import section on the top. Then you have the duplicate identification, duplicate resolution and data cleansing. So basically all the customer data hub related activities can be viewed from this particular dashboard i usually prefer coming here and then drilling down to my different tasks so right now i'm going to go into my data import batch id i drill down over here this gives a detailed snapshot of what exactly has happened with each and every object here you can see the total number of records as 45 this is because it has loaded uh, the record, the relationship, and the child entities. So that comes to 45 rows getting created or updated within the database. So here it says for each object, what are the total number of records, inserts, updates, merge requests, automatic merges, what were removed, or any errors, and what are the total uh, imported records. So since we did parties and locations and addresses it would be listed down so let me just uh, scroll down here so as you can see uh, it says 15 uh, total records for location 15 for party and 15 for party sites which equals 45 that's how we get into the 45 number and you can actually look at a report too if there are any errors this report is really useful so i click on the report and i can view it over here since we don't have any errors um, this does not have much information but if you have errors it exactly tells you at which particular stage or at which particular table it errored on you can see that this is in a HTML format. You can actually get this into a PDF format too. So you have to say PDF and say go. So this is one strange thing that happens as it closes it down. So you have to click it once again to actually get the PDF file. And you can actually look at the PDF file, but it's small over here. What you can do is you can save the file to your hard disk and then uh, view it from there which will give you a bigger version let me not do that because there's nothing much right now but this is the place where you would actually find complete detailed errors and exactly what has happened with your import process last check we would want to do is verifying the records in the fusion application itself so we can do it in two ways one is going into the parties object or the other way is going into the sales account object so let's do both let's first go into customer data management parties and here you'd get a snapshot of the records that have been loaded in the last 24 hours for organization or accounts contacts as well as for groups you can drill down into the record and see its details Uh, it's a customer record that's what we loaded it as ZCA customer and the address it has so let me cancel out of here and the other place where we can look at this is in sales accounts so let me go back to the home page sales and then accounts 
So the major difference here and the parties is here you'd only see records which are assigned to Mandy Stewart, but in parties you actually see all the records that have been update, updated or inserted in the last 24 hours. So again, here you can drill down into the record and see its details. So here again, it's Treble and it's at this particular address and the owner is Mandy Stewart. So since I loaded it using the Mandy Stewart ID, it has been assigned to Mandy Stewart. Let me cancel it out here. Actually, you can um, load it to a different owner in the import process itself. But since we did a very simple import, uh, we did not uh, as have any owner assignments done. So let me cancel this out here. So this is a snapshot of what are the new features and also the import process. In the upcoming videos, we'll discuss data cleansing, deduplication, DAS flows, real-time um, data entry and enrichment, and also hierarchy management. Take care and have a great day.